Let's talk about that. Let's talk about alternative energy for a few minutes because you touched on hydrogen, um, renewable diesel, and, 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 and things like that. So TGE, where, 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 where are you guys with, with considering alternatives? Do you already have them in the fleet or is this part of the project that you're going to be working on in the future? It's, it's absolutely part of the future. We're just, uh, I think the end of this month, going to get our first batch of renewable diesel into the fleet, which is really exciting. We we see, or I see, I guess, uh, that the electric vehicles are absolutely going to play a role and they're likely to be in the light and medium ridges, possibly the heavy ridges that are going, say, less than 300 days a day and they're doing payloads that make sense. We know that line haul applications and particularly Volume train applications, they are going to need to have hydrogen in the future and it needs to be liquid hydrogen, not gaseous hydrogen. So there's a, there's this very much bright, shiny attitude in Australia and around the world at the moment that gaseous hydrogen start to fill that gap. It's not because gaseous hydrogen, we're only going to get the same sort of distance as an electric vehicle. It's actually it's not going to get you in where you far enough to be. So in the meantime, we really need to see, well, I guess there's three things. One is we have to have all the diesel. It's critical for us in Australia, um, and I, I bang on about it a lot. Um, we're absolutely going to need liquid hydrogen fuel cells, but you know, in talking to the OEMs, um, it, it, it's not likely to be in Australia before 27, 28, so we've got you know, the next five years before it becomes a reality. We're likely to see liquid hydrogen direct injection into the ice fleet. That's absolutely going to happen as well. But I would argue that the, the best cost for transport and logistics is really around renewable diesel because if you're using renewable diesel at 100%, you're not having to change your fleet. 